The Holy Spirit is not happy with certain nations that are locking churches down. With certain politicians and presidents that are locking the church down. Now if the Holy Spirit is not happy, there will be big delays. Politicians, I speak to Africa, I speak to the world from this pulpit that hear the voice of the Lord and stop equating churches together with beer holes. We are not party people. We are not beer people. We are prayerful people. And Jesus is saying, respect that institution and you will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. We will listen to you. We will obey you because you are the ones in authority. But we know we are not going to come out of this very soon with the way you are seeing things. We will be in this thing for quite some time because you are lacking a revelation. You are the ones on top. And what can we do? We have to honor you. We have to honor you, but it doesn't mean that we have no solutions and we can't pray for this thing. So it will take a very long time for countries to recover from COVID-19 infections because of this complication of not understanding what COVID is in the spirit. So God is not happy with the presidents of certain nations and the politicians who are putting the church at the same level with beer holes. The Lord is saying it shall take you time to come out of COVID-19 until you realize the need of the church prayers and its importance in praying for you to find solutions on how to come out of this thing and the power of the prayers that are needed. It's only depending on your levels of understanding in the spirit. A level of understanding the power of prayer. So if you still despise servants of God that God gave you in your nations and you still despise churches that God raised for your salvation, you will take time to come out of this COVID situation. Listen to me, kings of the earth. Presidents, that is a big spiritual error that you are making. God said, I will confuse all those countries that are doing that and the cases of COVID will continue increasing because they are equating my house, the church of God with beer holes. They are saying the church of God is not an essential service, yet COVID is spiritual and it needs the church. It needs the prayers of the saints. Government must close beer halls and nightclubs and allow churches to meet with the social distance, wearing face masks and sanitization. Hear me, presidents of the world. Allow churches to gather. If you want COVID cases to go down. If there are churches that have got big space, and big crowds allow them to use those big venues and space their people. And you will see COVID cases coming down as they pray because I know you think you are educated. I know you have got advice from health practitioners. I know you can argue but watch this space. Continue burning churches with nightclubs. And we will see if we will come out soon out of this COVID. If you are arguing, I give you up to March and April. Continue burning churches. All nations that are going to allow churches are going to come to worship, are going to come out faster than those that are equating bills and churches together. You, you governments, you need the church of God now than ever before. You cannot fight this thing without men of God, without prayer of the servants of God. Without the prayers of the church of God. COVID will confuse you, it will ravish you because it's a strong diabolic disease. 
I rebuke you as a prophet of God in honor of your offices. But it's high time for you to change presidents in Africa and in the world and understand spiritual things. You must get a revelation. And you, you are equating a church to a beer and you say, we burn churches and we burn beer People from gathering, you think the church of God is like a beer hall. You would rather ban people going to be a hall than banning people from worshiping God in such a crucial time. And you politicians in Zimbabwe, you MPs in the nation of Zimbabwe, these are things that you need to go within the parliament, not debating funny stuff that you are debating. It's time for you to fight for the church of God to be opened. It's time for you to fight for the house of God to be allowed to worship. I challenge politicians in Africa who are in parliament, wake up, have revelation. This is a demonic disease and it needs our prayers. But when you continue burning the men of God, burning churches, arresting churches, putting them in, in, in cells because they are trying to pray for you. How are we going to come out? How are we going to come out of COVID? It needs the church of God to pray. Burn all other things but not worship. Burn all other things but not church. Receive revelation. So I see it will catch a lot of leaders. And we are going to see a lot of prominent people dying. A lot of prominent people are going to die. High profile leaders even of COVID. And some of them through wrong decisions. It's the going away of COVID. Listen, it depends on how hot the spiritual temperature of church prayers in that nation is. If it's hot and there are powerful prayers being offered, COVID will run away from that particular nation very fast. If the church in that nation is being banned, is being locked down, and is being persecuted for praying for this thing of COVID to go away, then those nations shall struggle to come out of COVID. People shall die, including some of their ministers, including some of their politicians, and some of their presidents will perish. And there will be confusion in the government because COVID-19 is very deep spiritually. It's a deep spiritual disease. So lockdowns alone, healthy measures alone, with weak prayers, with the churches locked down, banned from gathering, they will delay these governments from dealing with COVID. So don't just lock down everything. You politicians, you must have faith. You presidents, you must have faith with your people and understand spiritual things, open churches, ask for prayers. Ask for big churches with space to pray. And soon we shall be out of COVID-19 situation in Jesus' mighty name.